Hey guys, this is Chris. Today I wanted to share my sleeping home, my sleeping place with you. Um, I, I have built myself a uh, Faraday structure. For that I used a outdoor tent, or at least the inside of it. And I put EM shielding material on it. Like for instance, this these kind of blankets, the metal waved, they absorb uh, electromagnetic energy and I also used this netting or case, very efficient, it's even more efficient than uh, a common known material silver tulle, as some of you might know, and it's not as expensive as silver tulle, it's, it's about 20 euros. Uh, the square meter very effective I will show you in a bit when I use I'm gonna use the uh, the acoustic meter to measure the uh, the amount of electromagnetic uh, radiation inside the tent uh, why I've done this for a long time for years I, uh, I have trouble with sleeping and I've got headaches itchy skin, I'm having trouble to gain weight and yeah as a human being you uh, uh, try to find root causes what it could be um, you analyze all kinds of stuff like stress, eating patterns my um, physical condition, uh, work I tried a lot of stuff and then I ran into the Electric Universe. I did a lot of research about the Electric Universe, that we are living in an Electric Universe, the Earth is electric, our bodies are bioelectric uh, systems, systems that are very sensitive to change in frequency, to change in electromagnetic density, to know more about your body, body's electric system, I recommend checking out the work of Charlie Tennant. He's a MD licensed doctor from the States. Go read his book, Healing as Voltage. Where he explains a lot about your body being an electronic device, that it's running on voltage, how you maintain it, and how you can implement, the, implement sustaining it in this modern society. One of the things that I do is building this Faraday structure so when at night, when I'm asleep, uh, my body it can heal optimal. Uh, it doesn't have to worry and work against uh, radiation levels that are continuing bombarding it when I'm sleeping. I've read somewhere that when you sleep your body is 400 times more sensitive to electromagnetic radiation than when it's not sleeping. And with that in mind, uh, you realize that, uh, like I'm standing here in my room, there probably are dozens of radiation fields emitting and passing by in my room. Most of my neighbors have Wi Fi, including myself. I only turn it, my Wi-Fi on when I need it. Uh, you have large uh, fields emitting through the windows that are from towers, satellites, stuff like that. It's all reflecting and it's charging up particles in the air. This electromagnetic radiation uh, charging up particles and you breathe in those particles. So with other words, I'm trying to explain that the air you breathe is some kind radioactive. Um, you see a cable here running. It uh, has nothing to do with the AM shielding, but I have a ventilator inside the tent because it gets pretty warm inside and the ventilator gives some refreshing air when you sleep. 
the whole structure is grounded as you can see uh, metal waves blankets they've got these stitches and where you can mount these devices where you can ground the whole structure got a copper cable leading to the out wall that's grounded so my family structure is grounded it can just protect it against low and high frequency radiation you guys let me take some uh, measurements for you so we can see the difference uh, in, uh, of the radiation inside my room and inside the tent I will be measuring a few directions because uh, well, electromagnetic radiation is, is reflecting against walls, against all kinds of structures. Um, it's really changing when you point the meter towards another direction, as you can see. At the moment I've got my Wi-Fi turned on, so if you see a large spike, that's probably the Wi-Fi. So you see it's an average of uh, dozens of microwatts and about yeah, 0 0.50, 60 volts per meter, I think, average, it's a little spike. So now we'll, we will be entering the structure, there's a possibility of a spike inside the structure then that can be my phone that's emitting radiation I will be closing the structure here's the ventilator you don't need that one it gets pretty warm here okay I'm reading the measurements and as if you can see We got readings of less than one microwatt and a average of zero zero point zero two volts. It's almost nothing. So where you see is the evidence of if you build a structure, if you're high sensitive for electric sense, electric energy I recommend building a Faraday structure so you can sleep pretty well your body can rest there's no interference by radiation while you sleep You guys, so I showed you the difference of radiation in and outside the tent. So if you live in a city that has a lot of radiation, uh, these days you have smart cities that put uh, Wi-Fi in every street light, every corner. If you're having trouble in sleep, if you try a lot of stuff and you're still getting this nausea effect on your body then maybe this is an option to try out shield yourself for electromagnetic radiation become aware that your body is an electronic device it runs on voltage and that electromagnetic radiation can affect the voltage in your body your body will heal at night it has no stress of radiation when it heals 
when your body goes into sleep mode, it is repairing all kind of stuff, it even repairs your DNA. So for everyone that is electric sensitive, I can, re I can recommend building something like this. Or whatever kind of structure, I see people building uh, some kind of netting around their bed. That's also an option if you want to keep it cool or whatever. The kids love this. They are very fond of tents and stuff and camping. So if you got kids, then maybe this can be a lot of fun. It doesn't have to be very expensive. <laughs> As you can see, I just taped it together. I don't stitch it. Of course, by doing this, it's not 100% covered. There is a, a weak signal coming through. But I showed you the measurements. Uh, there's no strong or almost no radiation at all inside. So for me, that's OK. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you got any questions, you can uh, throw a comment down below and I'll see if I can help you. Okay, thank you for watching. Till next.